We're talking with Bobby Egan, North Korea's man in New Jersey. It looks like we may have lost him just now. Um, we're going to try and get back with him. But obviously, fascinating take. And just to give a little bit of background on how Bobby is so familiar and, and developed these relationships with North Korean diplomats, he was working in the 1980s to recover MIAs and POWs in Vietnam. And Vietnamese diplomats and journalists put him in touch with folks in North Korea. He's since made several trips, including in 1994, receiving an official honor from the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea, a pin with Kim Il-sung, uh, Kim Jong-il's father, on it. He stood on the platform with Kim Jong-il. He's been critical of some of the caricaturing of North Korea in the media, saying that, of course, Kim Jong-il likes luxurious goods. He's a dictator, and he's a guy, and he's a normal person. We wouldn't only focus on that if it was another leader. Though, of course, as you heard just now, he was saying essentially that there are human rights reasons, there are human rights violations over there that are very grave, regardless of the security implications. Dana, did you know about these uh, concentration camps in North Korea? Heard about them, but I, I'm not very familiar exactly with what they are or where they are. I, yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, certainly we've heard that since the sanctions have taken effect, that that the leadership, the elites in North Korea, have continued to, to live luxuriously. Mm -hmm. And the people out there, they're advising them to eat grass and bark, and many of them are dying of starvation. So that's very disturbing. But it, it seems like the best way to improve the human rights situation over there would not be to close the door further, but to uh, to continue to sort of develop relations. Of course, that's very difficult now with the kind of saber rattling that's going on. Right, yeah, it seems like it would be hard to to extend a hand yeah, now uh, after all of this posturing of nuclear, uh, you know, nuclear war posturing, and you don't want to alienate uh, South Korea anymore either. So it's it's very complicated, and it's certainly out of my range of understanding of foreign diplomacy. That, that's absolutely right. The one thing that Bobby did note when we had him on just now is that at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, these folks are still rational. They don't want to be annihilated. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's certainly an opening that, that we can provide. Since we cut out with Bobby just now and we have him back, we're going to hang on and he's going to continue to speak with us a little bit in the next segment. Some more about how Bobby came to develop these relationships with North Korea. It's a fascinating story. And of course, you can watch our show live on TakeActionNews.com. You can listen on WeActRadio.com across the country. And we encourage you to subscribe to the show on YouTube, youtube.com slash TakeActionNewsTV. You'll get free clips in your inbox. And we've got a podcast on iTunes. You can get that on mobile app, Stitcher, all kinds of ways to get Take Action News. Stay tuned when Take Action News continues after this.